Smart MI, we address a major health problem. Uh, the vast majority of cardiovascular complications after myocardial infarction occur in patients with ejection fraction above 35%. For these patients, no preventive strategies exist. In our study, we included uh, survivors of acute myocardial infarction with ejection fraction above 35% and less than 50% and uh, performed uh, um, high resolution ECG to uh, uh, calculate cardiac autonomic function by means of validated ECG based digital biomarkers. And those patients who exhibited signs of cardiac autonomic dysfunction uh, were then randomized, 400 of them randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion to either implantable cardiac monitor implantation and telemedical monitoring or conventional follow-up. The primary endpoint and the hypothesis of the study was uh, that uh, there was time to detection of serious ar arrhythmic events. Those arrhythmic events were uh, composed of different individual components, atrial fibrillation uh, for at least six minutes, higher degree AV block, fast non-sustained VT and sustained VTVF. Uh, the patients were followed up for uh, 21 months and uh, the main findings of this study uh, were that first uh, the, the ICMs, the implantable cardiac monitors, were highly effective in detecting, in early detecting serious arrhythmic events. In the experimental group we identified 60 patients who ex ex um, experienced at least one serious arrhythmic event, while in the control group this figure was only 12. This was a hazard rate of uh, more than six. Secondly, uh, these uh, mostly asymptomatic arrhythmias were highly predictive of subsequent major adverse cardiac and cerebrovascular events. And um, the, in, the, in Smart MI, the local investigators at the 33 uh, study centers were informed about the of, about detection of serious arrhythmic events. And um, if this was the case, then the uh, uh, local physicians could react to these arrhythmias. And uh, in Smart MI, a higher number of prognostically relevant interventions have been performed, including ICD implantations in 13%. Uh, 13 patients, pacemaker implantations, catheter ablations, and particularly in the initiations of oral anticoagulation due to atrial fibrillation. We believe that Smart MI provides evidence for uh, um, the use of implantable cardiac monitors for continuous cardiac risk assessment in these selected high-risk post-MI patients.